Hi, 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 hi. We're going to talk about Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Any of you have taken psychology has probably had a class discussing Maslow, Dr. Abraham Maslow and his theories on human behavior. He was a um, evolutionary, kind of a major evolutionary psychologist that studied the human behavior from the perspective as we are animals that evolved to be very predictable in our behavior. And he created what you're looking at over here is the pyramid that he created. I've done a little bit adjusting. This is actually included in my book. I don't know if you'll be able to see this body supremacy. This is the book where I um, theorize eating disorders as a syndrome instead of a disease. Um, anyways, it's a theory. You should read it. Give me your opinion. Anyways, so Maslow's hierarchy of needs, I used a ton and I, um, I just want to briefly go over it if you haven't heard it. Okay. So the basic um, understanding is that we as human beings are very predictable around our behavior. And Maslow theorized that the most important needs to our life and life sustenance are the most valuable. And our brain and our psychology will fixate and focus on those things until they're secured. And these would be the foundation of our psychology, water, food, air, sleep, uh, excretion, physiological survival needs. The next importance um, would be environmental survival needs. These are things like shelter, tools, uh, making sure we have appropriate clothes for the elements, things for uh, like g guns to be able to protect ourselves from um, people or animals that are, you know, higher above us in the order. Um, and the third important is our social survival needs, the need to be included and to be a part of a community. These three lower ones, the way I describe it are they are the, kind of our survival mode triggers. These are kind of the most predictable survival mode triggers that put our brains into cognitive distortions. Um, very, and in this area, if you're insecure in this kind of zone, lower zone, you're going to have very predictable cognitive distortions like all or nothing, uh, forecasting future, catastrophizing, all that jazz. Um, in my books, I combined Maslow's theory with Dr. David R. Hawkins' scale of consciousness. That's a whole nother conversation. But anyways, these would be considered narcissistic core of the ego behaviors down in here, where we're very self-centered, self-preserving. That's how survival works, right? So to transcend this, these would all have to be secure, especially, um, this third one here, feeling that we belong, are worthy of love. Once you have these secure, your mind goes away from yourself. It goes away from dualistic thinking into expansion. And that's ultimately the goal. And when you have an eating disorder, that would mean you are recovered when you can transcend that line right there. Okay.